How's it going, guys? Check this out. So, I, uh, I've been trying to kind of come up with a way to maybe improve on my art style. <sighs> come on. And uh, so, somebody has commissioned me to make them a... What's up, Crocky Bird? Let me, uh, let me get down to the thing here real quick, get the music going and whatnot. Alrighty, so don't forget there's links in the description for videos or channels you may enjoy uh, that are related to art and whatnot. Uh, there's also the description, excuse me, the link to Art of War. I always recommend that book. And let's get started. Let's take a look at that. I've been commissioned to do yet another um, uh, thing to do that has to be done before September, so uh, hopefully I can kind of do some justice to both of them. So, got a lot of work ahead of me, and uh, let's get started. here for a second. I'm gonna definitely have to get more wire. Yeah. Let's get more wire. How's it going, Brian King? I gotta make a stand for this too, you know. It's just a prototype, but I definitely had to make a stand for it anyway. Kumanina Iskari, hello, how's it going? Do you mind if I divulge the, the reason I'm making these, or is that supposed to be a secret for now? That guys, I also got a lucky break. Not a not a lucky well. Awesome. So uh, I'm happy to be involved in an, uh, yet another awesome memorial thing here uh, to commemorate a lost life. And uh, well, this one is to commemorate a lost life. I want to. Uh, I'm being commissioned to make a set of these, and uh, so I wanted to figure out how to do it before I started making mistakes. And uh, this. this evolved into this which then evolved into this so I think it just need to be a little bit smaller to steal a star <laughs> yeah for real I actually have a lot of wire a lot more than I thought um, I have a whole bin over there of like long scraps that just have to be scavenged through um, I have a an entire shoebox of these, which I made this chainmail, a really, really big sheet of chainmail, two big sheets of chainmail, um, using these big rings and smaller rings, and uh, so I have crap tons of these little spools that I just, just kept spooling up, and uh, so I'm not at short supply of the thick wire like I thought I was, which is fabulous. I'm out of Big Red. Sorry, Big Red. Let's see that.
Wow, it's like navigating through a crazy forest. At high speed, you're just gonna run into something. I guess I'll just slip away. That'll work. Like the little one too? Yes, yeah, see, I, may, I got these. These were about as small as I could get with all being the same size and without them being cloudy. There were also a lot of really cloudy ones, but these are some good clear rose quartz if you're interested in uh, rose quartz. I can still do the um, I can still do the amethyst if that's uh, what you want. Because these are really little, right? Like, I can make these pretty easy. Um, I think I can make a smaller one of that a uh, little bit, little bit easier. Uh, not, not easier than this one, but that one. You. Yeah. Would you like these? Cause that would be awesome. I already got one made. <laughs> I could always. Uh, uh, I, I knew that this was too big to put the. Uh, well, shit. Oh man, I could have made that. I could have made that with this one. <laughs> Whatever. Oh well. But if you want the uh, uh, the amethyst, that's that's perfectly fine too. That makes it a lot uh, makes it a lot quicker, for sure, and less what much less expensive. I guess I didn't even think about the price of this one. That would that was definitely like five hours. Of, well, more like three and a half. A lot of mistakes. With stone is a big one. This is actually a dyed. Um, something or other. It starts with an H, I forget. But it's... It was the only one I had of the size. I could have used the selenite, but it was just ever so slightly too big, so... Um... Other than that, it was... It was I guess it was the only one I thought was appropriate, but I guess the rose quartz would have worked. But I can make one of the... Make multiple of these, for sure. Like, this will be just fine. Uh, here it is. Alright, let's take a look. So, um, would you like me to make smaller ones or bigger ones? Because the uh, smaller ones will be very similar to the price we talked about already. And uh, uh, these are going to be uh, a noticeably different thing here. Were you able to find any purpose? None that were just, um, they, they didn't have any that weren't um, flat on some part or another. Uh, I guess I could, I could make something that has two sides. Um, it would be a little different, but they didn't really have a very good selection of turquoise. We can always get some online. I don't know, uh... What's the little one stone? This is an amethyst. Very deep purple, very beautiful. And I've got lots of these. You know, I just grabbed a handful. I we'll certainly get the prettiest ones for you. The prettiest ones I have. You can always put these other ones in the uh, tiaras or whatever you want to call them. And then I have the rose quartz that I got for these. See, uh, this size just is too small for these big ones. Man, that was a noticeable difference. Let's still put them in there. What's the blue one? Uh, I'm actually not sure what the blue one is called. 
Um, I'm trying to remember what it was, but the they do come with stickers, but I've already taken the sticker off. But it's just, it's a dyed stone. That's not a natural blue color. Not to mention, I don't know how easy it's going to be to get more of these. I haven't seen them since I got one. You could always get the same size. Like, there, there's the same size of these in several styles of... Of, um, excuse me, in several t types of stone, but not a lot that are the same stone. The blue one in three rows? For sure. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, I can do that. They're gonna be a lot smaller, though. Well, I guess that's not a lot smaller. I could always make the same size as these with these in there. I think we could do that. I'll make adjustments later. Awesome. Let's get started. I think we know what we want then. Let's get this wire out. There it is. Uh, where's my big blue one now? They don't have to be the same size. Okie dokie. That makes things easier. Certainly less, uh... Ah, yeah. That's hot. It's hot, hot, hot. Certainly less, uh, complicated. Or whatever you want to call it. Makes it easier on me. That's what I'm saying. Let's see here. and Grab one more. I'm sure I'll need it. Uh, did I drop them? Ah, here they are. Oh, thanks, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, um, the original one of these, I had set, like, two or three, uh, excuse me, two inches of this, uh, um, so if you guys take a look at that, right? Come on. It's actually a rope under there. So it's a twisted wire that uh, uh, has wire holding it down. I wonder if I did too much of the hot wire holding it down, but you can still see the, the braid in there. Hell yeah, bro! I'm just checking for any uh, mistakes. Now, I just always have to make sure I got the right size wire when I'm working on this. There's, It looks like there's two... I think there might be actually three different sizes, but it always tricks my eyes. And then I did the top like that, too. Yeah, I really like the way this turned out. So this is actually an independent piece there. I put three wires bound them because I couldn't figure out any way to get anything to fit in there and uh, um, 
then curled up the wire and uh, bound them up inside there. So that that's that's pretty sturdy there. That's not going anywhere. And I didn't know what to do with those other two wires, so I flattened them out. Need a little hook. Yeah, me too. I I really feel like this is this is this is a marker in my um, in my um, quest to become a wire master because um, you know you take a look at some of my stuff here. Let's let's look at my most recent thing. You take a look at some of my stuff here, and it's like there's something lacking. Something's missing, right? It just doesn't have enough detail. And I understand I'm supposed to make some st some some yeah. Uh, make it somewhat uh, simple and affordable, but it's really lacking. Um, and so I put the hematite ring there, and uh, I think what I'm going to have to start doing is something like this, where it's two wires under there, and then a braided wire on top, and that way it'll be more than just a bare wire, right? It'll have it'll have depth and um, look really. Okay, let's get started, since we're still sitting around. Just gotta wash this. I need to get a new rag is what I need to do. You can't keep that one? <laughs> yeah. No problem, no problem. I really need to start selling my stuff more, more, right? I was supposed to go to the club last night to sell some of my uh, headdresses, whatever you want to call them. But um, I guess I either chickened out at the last minute, or I didn't. I didn't want to almost get there and then not make it to the free entry because sometimes it's like twenty bucks to get in, and I'm not paying twenty bucks to get in, you know. Um, so if I'm going to go, I'm going to have to go a little earlier. I can't find my other uh, ruler, so I had to pop out another one. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I see. That's that's definitely the issue. Is I need to get out of the house. I need to go off into the real world and show my work there too. Not just on the internet, and that that'll get some followers. Right now, I'm relying on you know getting subscriptions, and even that I'm not doing very well because um, I never feel the need to say please like and subscribe, you know, share this video kind of thing because I feel if that's the sort of thing you do, you don't need a reminder. Because I know I don't uh, share or. Um, or anything like that. I'll like the video, but I don't ever share it around, so it's that kind of thing. But that's the, that's the kind of thing I have to break through, right? You see all these very successful channels, and that's what they do. They they promote their channel. They have all the social media outlets like Twitter and uh, Facebook and, and and that sort of thing. Uh, and that's just not. I'm just not doing that. It's not. Um, I'm not I'm not doing everything I can to make sure that my channel gets out there and that's just a product of laziness so you know let's just be upfront and honest about it <laughs> hell yeah bro thanks man yeah it always it does mean a lot to me I, I do uh, 
they need to get more focused on that sort of thing. I uh, set up my Etsy. It's um, it's only got three things on it right now, but I'm just playing playing with it real quick and seeing how things go. Pretty soon here, they're gonna have some kind of special that's gonna allow um, allow new people to get on the front page, kind of thing, and I'm gonna try and take part of that. I also started doing Facebook uh, marketing marketplace or whatever. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I wouldn't say marketplace. I guess it's more like I went to... I joined a art group, I guess. And the group is dedicated to uh, selling your art. So I put my... I think I put my... Uh, I think I put this one on the... On the... Uh, what you call it? Facebook one. Oh yeah, I know for sure. That's uh, it's 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 a huge part of where I get my stones. I like the place I get my stones because they're not they're not terribly concerned with all the uh, with the um, you know the meanings of the stones and stuff like that. Which means that I'm not paying an extra price for my stones because of it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's definitely a big part of the world. One, two, three. I need one more. Surely, surely I have more on the end. There it is. Music's a bit loud for me. I'm going to turn it down. Yeah, I need to learn more about it. I have this little card here. Yeah, amethyst means peace. Uh, let's see here. Rose quartz means love. Turquoise is friendship. Gold hematite, huh? Interesting. I didn't even know there was such a thing as gold hematite. Let's see what it means. Calming. Oh, you'd think it'd be something else. But that's just one set, right? That's just one person's interpretation. Most most uh, outlets will always tell you something very similar, but not exactly the same. Making the stands for these is going to be really fun. Um, yeah, we'll have to see how big it's going to have to be and whether it can support anything else, and we'll, we'll uh, play around with that idea as well. <laughs> Excuse me. Inhaled my spit. The, um... Yeah, I was hoping that there was a bad stone. When I was looking, uh, when I first found out that they that there was the uh, belief that the stones and stuff like that, um, uh, I was interested in doing an experiment with a bad stone. But apparently, there aren't any, oh, there aren't any bad stones. Oh, still need to reload. Really
One second, I'll look at the comments in a moment. So, just going to try and get it to be ever so slightly accurate here. So far, it is not. That looks about right. Let's get started. Alright, so what I've done here is we're just gonna pick an arbitrary spot because we can always move it down, up, up and down. And uh, I'll take the... Let me turn on the air conditioner real quick. Ah, I don't know where my machete is. wire for the braid. It doesn't have to be big or long or whatever. Let's experiment with this length here. So because it's a pain in the ass to hold those two things together, Uh, to make a nice closed gap or grip or whatever, I just grab the pliers and try and trying to make it to where it's as thick as the uh, as the wires. One. Let's make uh, five more. Let's 
Oh yeah? I guess I never asked why. Uh, that seems an alright answer. Though I was always curious. That's a bit wide. Second, guys, I'm gonna put you on mute. Yellow banana, how's it going? <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I suppose that is the case with obsidian, isn't it? Uh, supposed to absorb negativity. Like I got my big old obelisk, obsidian obelisk. I had to learn about some of this stuff because uh, copper is very much attuned to the whole energy thing. Um, when I think of energy, I think of the scientific term, which is the potential to do work. Um, but I think I have a, I have a sneaky suspicion that uh, uh, the, when when spirituality talks about energy, I think they're talking about something else. Um, so that's that's a there's a language barrier there almost. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, I used to, um, I guess date, I guess is the word for it. I used to date somebody who was, um, he was a health guru, a spiritual guru, and, uh, he kind of walked me through, like, meditation and things like that.
Oh, that was close. Two, three, four, two more. Interesting enough, like my grandma is. Oh, for sure. I feel the same way in the sense of um, um, everything you do is contagious, right? Like, when you're in a bad mood, it uh, sometimes reinforces other people's bad, mo bad moods. And um, I think it has a lot to do with body language and uh, whatnot. And uh, there's definitely, you know, a, a sort of, um, uh, certainly a, a conversation to be had about the different causes and effects of people's emotions and such. Let's see here. Oh. I think it comes more from our primal instincts to associate likes with likes um, in the sense uh, I actually use racism very very uh, um, very good example is racism right it is extremely easy to be a racist because um, throughout an entire evolutionary stage of before we became societal um, if something bad happened to you, it was in your best interest to recognize the early signs and to recognize what it looks like and things of that nature. Um, and so in now we live in the suburbs and you're, say, robbed by a black guy or something like that, um, it would be very easy for someone to say, uh, um, excuse me, to, uh, in a way, associate all black people as a negative because of their one experience. And that comes from just the simple, primal, out-of-the-bushes um, uh, uh, natural instinct to uh, uh, protect yourself, that kind of thing. And so when you associate good feelings like love, you always want to put it somewhere. You want to you wanna personify it almost. Uh, you want to be able to touch it and things like that. Like if I'm touching, you know, um, I think they said amethyst was love or something like that. Let's see. Peace. If I wanted to touch peace, this is what they do. They make it into an object. So amethyst represents peace. So you want to be able to hold it and you want to be able to to nurture that feeling of peace. And, and, uh, and it's real. It really works. I just don't personally think that the stones have much to do with it, more the association with the stone. That if you are under the impression that this gives you peace, that this stone here will will give you peace, then, then you work for that. You work for the peace, and it really works. It really works. So there's, there's not necessarily, a, I would say, anything spiritual about it, or excuse me, not spiritual, supernatural about it. But I will say that it is effective in a way, uh, and uh, and it really only works for people who believe. So um, I would say that it does work, and so, for some people it doesn't work. Yeah. yeah, exactly. A very I love shiny things. I've got an entire armoire dedicated to all my little knickknacks, and that's not including my um, bookshelf, which has an extensive. Uh, collections of knickknacks and, and uh, fun little doodads. Oh, we need one more. We threw a party last night. I didn't even know it was a big bull bumping party. <laughs> I just kind of left myself out.
Though I will say it can backfire because it doesn't always help with everything. Oh, for sure, yeah. The you know having having a memento kind of thing, like um, this is more for your mother than it is for you. Um, or excuse me, other way around. This is more for you than it is for your mother because um, you you need something, or you don't. You know, you feel like you need something to remember um, when uh, you know it's just a natural instinct to want something to remember them by that kind of thing. And I'm happy to be a part of it. That's for sure. I always felt that way about funerals and, and uh, uh, weddings as well. Uh, we are a nature, in, it is in our nature to be tribalistic. And, uh, and if you're not showing the world that you're like them, that you, are, that you are adhering to all the rules, which is to conform to, you know, whatever societal thing, whether that be marriage or, or a bachelor, that uh, bachelor lifestyle, whatever's in, um, Funerals are not for the people attending, for the, they're for the people watching. It's for people to say, uh, it's for someone to openly, in a public way, to mourn. Um, and so, I, I, I personally, I don't necessarily think of that as, as, a, as a good thing. I'm not knocking it. I think that people should have their funerals if they want. Uh, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but much in the same way of weddings, um, you don't have to announce to the world that you are in matrimony, right? You ju you don't even need contract, right? And if you if you need to, you know, exchange rings, do your vows, you know. But does it have to be in such a superficial way, you know? Um, and if it has to be, fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't uh, personally think that I would ever get married, in, in a, certainly not in a public way. I love these sort of topics, guys. And since I've never been married or ever had kids, you know, I'm always willing to uh, hear what other people have to say about it. Alright, I'm just trying to remember what I did next. If I understand correctly, I grabbed one of, uh, uh, here we go. I have the video of when I made these. So both of these have videos made of them. I just have to go in and edit and and uh, you know shorten them down to like five minutes kind of thing. So um, those videos should come to sometime down the pipeline eventually. <coughs> Hey Brian King, real quick, did the uh, did the voice to text uh, put in my clear throat? My uh, put in when I cleared my throat. Hey, that's awesome. <laughs> it did. <laughs> That's awesome. I just love that. That is so cool. To dinner afterwards. August 8th will be our 25th. Woo, my goodness. That is cool. Oh, the, uh, I'm sorry, the video. I see. Alright, so. Oh, this isn't the right side. Oh, this is the right side. Okay. Let me put this aside real quick for later. Oops. So I have a slightly thinner wire than this. So I'm about to put these two together. Doesn't really matter which one. Which ones. Kind of get an idea of how far away from the bottom I want it to be. Decide which one. 
<laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, you gotta make some compromises somewhere. Here we go. If I remember correctly, I have to do it under undersides. That way, the grain goes well. Let's do... That, that should be fine. That should be fine. Now I'm going to slide one of these bad boys on there. And now... So I've... Wrapped it over the end of that side. Right? I'm going to bend it down. And then wrap it over the top. And you always want to make sure that it's nice and centered. It's not going to wiggle at all. Hold it there nice and tight. And I like, I'm like i putting the wire through each low end of the braid. If you catch my drift here. So I'm using that little rivet. That little div divot in the, in the, in the braid to hold. Or to one to place these. And two, to make sure that they're not going to wiggle around or, or, you know, really disrupt anything. I could probably do every two, but I think that this side might be too wonky and it's just going to make things not so tight. So we're going to go just like we did before and uh, um, make them all match the same way. If, if we want that, I guess. We can always try new things as we go. In fact, it might even wind up that way by accident anyway. All right, so now I've got all the way up to the front here. And I'm going to go under this. All right. <laughs> Everyone else is going pantsless, huh? <laughs> Some wedding, my goodness. <laughs> Like if I know that I if I had known I didn't have to wear pants I'd have showed up. Okay. Looks like I can get away with that. No, maybe not. Yeah, I think we'll be fine with that. One down. Five to go. It wasn't left with a lot of wire left. I'm gonna need more than that. 
pretty sure. Let's get some more. Let's get some more. Pretty sure that's not the wire I'm looking for. She hasn't worn dresses like since she was nine. Woo! I see. Yeah, it may have been the right thing to do at the time. If it meant saving whatever she felt she could save with her family or something. Now I was fortunate enough to have a great a gay grandma and well I say fortunate enough to have one. Anyway. Uh, gay dad, my dad's brother was gay and my mom's mom was gay, so it was no shock that I was gay. It might have been a little difficult for my parents to swallow at first, but I think they managed to get okay with it after a little while. I think they were more concerned about my safety than they were about anything else. You know, excuse me, more concerned about my safety than they were about my sexuality choice. Oh, whoops. that happen. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good to hear, Brian King. It's always good to be friends with your exes. Well, if they deserve it, of course.
So I'll look at the comments in just a second. I was like two? Yeah, 19, uh, I guess that was 91 when I was two. Has uh, Steve Steve Pinder on? I'm not even sure who that is. Oh man. Should have had the light on this whole time. But no. It's coming along, it's coming along.
Holy D, how's it going? Oh, for sure, Brian King. I'm going to be here a few hours, so it's going to be good. It's all good. No stretch. Now let's all talk bad about him while he's not not here. <laughs> that Brian King, my goodness. He's barely Brian or a king. <laughs> I'm just kidding. A bad, bad beginning. No, nah, I was actually surprised that we became friends. Um, it was like, darn it all, he just couldn't stop com uh, complimenting my art. So it was just like, dang it, either be mad at the guy or don't, you know. It's like, fine, I guess we could be friends. Jeez. <laughs> just a big old meanie all the time. Yeah. Kids' lunch money! Oh man. That's like the worst thing ever. <laughs> My goodness. What was it, uh? I'm trying to remember a good quote from a video game here. It's like, all right, Dr. Nefarious, turn yourself in. It's like, Captain Quark! Like, you'll never stop me in my evil plans. He's like, it's like, hey, wait a second, don't I know you? He's like, uh, no, no. Of course not. It's like, yeah, I used to, uh, as like... It was like 8th grade math or something like that, or, or 11th grade algebra, or, or biology, that's what it was. It's so fucking awesome. It's like, yeah, I used to clean the uh, chalkboard with your shorts while you were still wearing them. It's like, you were six times my size, you blivering oaf. It's like, yeah, I was a big guy for my age. It's like, you were 26. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's like, how about a wedgie for old time's sake? It's like, no! Get away from me! Quark! And he falls down to a shaft and gets caught up in some gears. It's like, well, <laughs> that's the end of that. Another galaxy saved by Captain Quark. like quote from the same guy but different game space it's huge so huge in fact that if you lost your car keys in it they would be almost impossible to find This door is a jar. As our hero steps down onto the Earth, or not onto the Earth, the uh, uh, un unknown backwater planet, he's uh, he's faced with his most daring f evil uh, uh, nemesis yet, nature.
Uh oh. Oh man. That's not good. There we go. Much better. See if you guys can guess where this comes from. Enjoyable to disagree with? I hope so. <laughs> On June 5th, oh my. Oh, I see. I, I, I gotta read back up some more. Oh, thank you. I, I certainly try. It's a lot harder to be nice than it is to be mean, that's for sure. Oh yeah, if Noli D, if you haven't seen it yet, this is what we're working towards here. Little Lantern. With, uh, so I'm not sure what this stone is, but uh, we're gonna have some rose quartz in the next ones. Uh, these are freshwater pearls and uh, a cute little lantern style there. I, I want to remember remind people uh, so everything that I do you can actually learn the little pieces here and there you can actually learn how to do that on other channels um, unfortunately I don't really do a lot of like tutorial stuff but um, I will say that everything I do you you can learn how to do on uh, uh, various channels. I just take all that and uh, turn it into something new and, and uh, hopefully can tweak it a little bit here and there to make sure that it's um, as unique as possible, that's for sure. There we go. That's much better. Two more to go, goodness gracious. But after this point, it gets pretty fast. I'm gonna need, uh, I'm gonna need more. I like this song. I guess I'm being lazy with my videos and start making them with 
more of the, the making of videos as opposed to just the, the finished product. I think people would enjoy those more, but uh, enjoy those a little more. Snagged on some. I'm going to try and experiment with this wire at some point in the future. It's just fence tie wire. It's crazy. Ah, it's all tangled up. Oh goodness gracious, my arm's getting tired. Oh, I need to move my mask. You got anything UV sensitive? Um, I don't, actually I don't think so, uh... You're talking about like uh, glow in the dark beads, that kind of thing? Or I guess stones that glow in the black light? It'd be bad if, oh, I wonder, I know I have a black light somewhere. Ah, uh, it might be in a box. I don't know exactly where it is, so I, I don't think I'll try, but, um, yeah, I wonder too. That'd be interesting. I wonder if the pearls do. That would be interesting. See how I did that? I think I, I might regret doing that, but uh, you can always adjust it again. It's another thing I need to start working on is where I'm putting my workload. Because if I'm continuously adjusting as I go, when all I have to do is just wait until the end, um, then maybe I need to consider that. Oh, for sure. Y'all have to consider that sort of thing. So most of my biggest problem is that I never think about what everyone else likes. I always go with the sort of thing that comes into my head, and that doesn't always translate to what everyone likes. I often give the example of the sandwiches, right? Like, uh, I would love to work at a sandwich shop, but it would take everything in me to not make the sandwich that uh, I think everyone should like. <laughs> like. No, you don't want that sandwich. I know what kind of sandwich you like. I know what a good sandwich is. <laughs> it's terrible. Coming from the guy who wears a trench coat and crazy makeup. <laughs>
because I'm a weirdo. Yep. Yeah. Down with normies. Us weirdos will take over the earth. Everyone knows we're immune to radiation. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's squirrels. Squirrels are gonna be the next uh, rulers of the planet. They're just, they're just biding their time, waiting for those thumbs to really get dexter, dextile. That did a, did fairly well there. It'll be looking, uh, it'll be a lot easier to tell when we're done doing this one here. Big makes everything. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, bacon. Uh, I tried bacon in my meatloaf, but it didn't translate well with the pepperoni. So it's either one or the other, and I think I always choose pepperoni. No phone, I know. Alright, I know. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, my phone, it's a little disgruntled or, or it's going through its phases. It's going through its change. You know, the change where they start randomly pressing buttons for no reason. Uh, start telling you things when they really didn't, that nothing happened, you know. Or says that it's charging, but it really isn't, you know, that kind of thing. Those kind of changes. Alright, so we're finally past the boring part. Well, almost past the boring part. Then we can start bending and adding the stone, and then we'll add the pereros. Pereros. Perfectus.
Hmm. I actually think I may let the bottom decide how far away these are gonna be. Excuse me. Okay. So this part is pretty cool. I'm gonna have to get a long wire so that I don't have to make any freaking breaks in the in the uh, uh, in the trend. So, so you can see where I started, right there. There's the part where I needed to start over. So I had to end it there and start it there. So it was, it's, it's very much a pain in the ass. Because you can see how nice and clean this is, right? You see how clean these are, right? I think he's, there's another new one there, I think. Yeah, see. So, you know, it, you can kind of get away with it. But in a way, it really, uh, it does disrupt things. This is not, I don't use this for my teeth. I use wood toothpicks for prodding because they don't leave scratches. But they do break. I don't think I... Here's another one. Yeah, that's more for anybody who's willing, uh, who wants to make one themselves. That if you're gonna, if you're gonna set out for a project, you know, be sure to know how much wire you need. So that's gonna be a lot of wire. So let's get to, let's get one of my supplies. Supplies. Actually, I'm gonna need it from a different roll because I'm gonna need it to be really long. What's up, Ryan King? You may be right, Brian King. I'll have to think about it. Uh, I may be, I may be noticing what you're talking about. It really is the the platform, though. I really like the idea of everyone being able to talk, because if everyone just uh, um, got onto the Discord, then we could all have you know, chit-chats. Unfortunately, Brian King would have a serious problem, though, because with multiple people talking, his program won't, uh, won't do well. But that's always been my goal, almost, just so that everyone can have a, have a voice during the stream. Because texting doesn't, it just doesn't, um, it doesn't hold the same. You know, it doesn't do the same. Just a little bit longer. This wire is gross. It's 
so racy. Yeah. That's nature, though. You, you've, uh, you've let them blossom. Now they're, now they're getting out in the world. They're spreading their, their little wings, getting their claws into things, <laughs> that kind of thing. Sorry, let me just put some of these things away so they're not getting whacked around with. I think I'm going to use the restroom real quick, guys. I will be so back you won't even know it. Oh, still muted. <laughs> oh, that happens too often. <coughs> I was just saying, hey, I'm back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. 
Yeah, man, I bet. Tough times, man. Yeah, if anybody feels like doing any kind of donation, that's uh, Brian King will probably do it better than me. Let's get back to this. So, oh, I had a wire. There it is, I found it. So I've gone with a thicker wire. Let's actually, let's round this out a bit. For sure, yeah. Yeah, make sure that if you can't do the link, let me know how to get it and I'll figure out how to get it real quick. Oh, email. Sorry, I'm looking for your thing and you're saying not to use it. <laughs> Jeez. I uh, yeah, I, I figured. Sorry. Yeah, I'll get. Let's get back to this here. So when it's this long, right, <clears throat> when you're working with a wire this long, it's best to Wow. Maybe I'll have to do it half and half. Yeah, new work out here. Honest gas. Uh, get fit with honest gas. <laughs> this sounds awful. <laughs> so come on down to the honest gas chambers. It's a bad joke. <laughs> Free consultation. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let me clean up my workspace a little bit here. Yeah, and you know, if we're trying to, if we're trying to heal from the past, even something like 9-11 or the Holocaust or, or, you know, any other tragedy that has befallen us, it's better to laugh, right? Nothing heals more 
and laughter, even if the joke is bad. But if anybody else is is familiar with memes, I think memes are hilarious. When I when I see anti-Semitic or you know, or uh, racist or or uh, um, you know like 9/11 jokes, they, I think they're the most hilarious thing ever. Like holy shit, that's bad. Like wow, jeez Louise. But you know, still, it's pretty bad. All right, so let's take a look. Is that free consultation? Ah, come on. Ah. Who said free consultation? I, I mean, I said free consultation. All right, so this is the back, right? Let's take a look at this thing real quick. Take, uh... Oh, okay, cool. I almost missed a very crucial step here. <clears throat> so we want this, these to be totally straight lines, right? So I see this is a little bit thin. That's a bit... If you want a more a more of an explanation, I was saying uh, I was doing a promoting a like a workout center uh, and uh, you know your free consultation kind of thing. Like, do you, is this gym right for you? If I had just a little bit more personality, I think I could like totally make commercials. But I'm just I I, I tried to write a script the other day and I didn't even wind up writing anything useful down. Like, uh, I just have no experience in making a commercial for anything. Alrighty, cool. So. You always want to make sure this is the side you want it on. This is the back side, so uh, we're going to be doing the bottom, what you would see on the bottom. Is that right? You'd be seeing what you're seeing on the inside, is what I should say. That's crazy, man. No, um, 9/11 was uh, was a was more than a tragedy, dude. Like, I think that hurt America more than America is willing to admit. Um, uh, the the wounds are still fresh, you know. When Elon Omar made that that terrible comment about the you know 9-11 being just this oh that just happened one you know that was just one thing you know it's like um you know it hurt i was uh, i was a indoctrination uh um age when that happened and um you know it's um yeah it's very offensive but like i said though you can't just let that stuff rule you. You can also laugh. If the joke is right, of course. Alright, so. At any rate. So I'm going to snip that because I don't need so much of it.
All right, so let's take a look at it. Come on, thank you. So I've wrapped it just a little bit around that, under, under. So you can see how it's, uh, it's turning into a sort of weave there. What's even better about this is all I have to do is just wrap the thing a little bit. The fr in the beginning, it's a little it's a little complicated, but then you just turn it in your hand. Alright, we've almost come full circle, so we're just gonna just get that nice and tight in there. There we go. Much better. Alright, so let's take a look. Whew! That's hard work. Let's take a look. So I've got my fingers where I need them to be turn, guide the wire, turn, guide the wire, turn, ah, See how much we can do with this long wire and see if we need to make any more. Watching and cooking, yeah. I need to go to the grocery store and get some bread. I live on sandwiches on purpose. I love sandwiches. Just a turkey, ham, cheese, uh, you know, Swiss or whatever kind of cheese, and uh, mayonnaise. So much mayonnaise. Yes, I have a problem. You're like, no, I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at where we are. So we started here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 six. Okay, so. Alright, so once you reach a certain point, you're good. Right, so if I want to continue, and it looks like I do have enough, I just got to make sure that I always stop on the same leg, if not the one right before it, depending on where it is in the uh, in the spiral. So let's try one more around. Yeah. 
mean, it doesn't look like I'm going to have enough for the next one around. Now right, let's see where this one ends. Right, so in order for... You just got to make sure all of these have the same exact amount. So, 4, 8, 4, 8... 4, 8, 4, 8, 4, 8. Yep, they're all 8. Okay. Let's take a look. This looks like it's definitely more than 8. Oh. It's 9. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. It's going to be a little bit smaller anyway. So. It does look like I may be able to make it. Let's try it. Can always backtrack. Oh, just barely. Ha! Just barely, but we made it. Alright, so, let's make sure we tie this one off nice and tight. Alright, so. Now we just want to push all these in. Push them all. Get them adjusted. Oh man, let me take a look. Mini Garden, how's it going? Check a look. Let me make sure I don't miss any of the comments here. Oh, we don't need to be sad. So pretty. Cute little lantern. Mini Garden Alice could probably put a garden in one of these things. No problem. No, no kidding, guys. I'm telling... Like, uh, Mini Garden Alice... The name... Excuse me. His channel's name really is a, a good description of what he does. He literally makes a, a mini garden out of anything. It is so cool. And it's good to see, man. Alright, so now we're going to start bending. You always want to do just a little bit at a time, guys. Just a little bit at a time. So I have that little bit done. kind of go in a circle if 
before you ever do any more changes you always want to make sure you don't go too far on one side and forget to go back to the other because then you'll have kind of a lop side because they're all manipulating each other all at the same time oh yeah um i'm trying to remember his name was that bobby duke i'm actually not sure if that was bobby duke or not See if I can't use this table. There we go. I think I can manage. I can't stress just how difficult it is to get these things to match up pro uh, correctly. You just want to be patient. Don't don't go too fast. Always double, triple check everything. You don't have to do. You don't have to go quickly. You know that kind of thing. Especially if you're new at it. I'm I'm relatively new at what I'm doing right now. That looks even better. Alright, so let us get... Let's pick out one of the nice ones, just for fun. That actually looks good already. And we'll just pick that one. Alright, so here comes a, a somewhat difficult part. Now, uh, before we get going, let's just make sure all of these are down as far as they can go. Some of them are loose, so you always want to check. That is an acceptable amount of height ratio. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go, I'm going to go down to the where that bottom is for this wire, and I'm going to bend it out. Do the same on the wrist. Alright, so now comes the task of bending these inward. Now this is, this isn't just two wires, sorry, excuse me, this isn't just three wires held there, okay, this is, it's two strong wires, a braided, uh, uh two, uh, well, it's one that's wrapped around, but it's essentially two wires braided in the middle there, and then another one wrapped around, so, my finger is an incredible pain just from this doing this one yesterday <clears throat> so let's see if we can figure out a way to to bend this without hurting your finger let's see
Huh. I actually have an idea. Alright, I'll take a look at the comments in just a second. Just concentrating on this. Almost done. I 
this should be enough. Well, let's just go all the way just because. Just kind of skip a little bit. Kidding. <laughs> All right, got it to work. Good Lord. Well, I hoped that would work, but uh, what I'm trying to get is is like a hook, almost. <laughs> is that even gonna work? Yeah, I don't think the tool's gonna help. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. <laughs> maybe it will, maybe it won't. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna figure out a way to do it without the tool.
Just making sure they're all fitting. Trying to figure out which one is not working out so well. Alright, so, before I continue, let's make a hook. Hook. That's not right. Surely I had more. This is too thick. Not thick enough for one, too thick for three. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, oh, let's, uh, great. I got a big No, no, no. This wire here, this is always grody. So uh, when the manufacturers put them on, the, you know, when 
they're made, they have a grease on them to keep them from corroding and whatnot. And that grease is not fun. It's stinky. It makes my hands not taste so great. And it always gets everywhere. Okay. Let that cool a second. But ever. Still warm. Don't tell me this is the kind of wire I'm looking for. Huh? I think it'll work. I think it'll work. Maybe off stream I'll have to consolidate that wire into uh, longer strands so that I can unravel. Yeah, unravel unravel them a little better. We can go with about that long. fire. Excellent. Always good. I see I have four, four people watching. That's all I need. I suppose I don't really need anyone watching, but it's always nice. <laughs> it's always a good thing. Alright, let's see if that's all we need. compare this one to this one here. It's looking to be about the appropriate size for this this size here.
let's see here. Let's see here. Sorry, just thinking of the best way to do this. I guess since I haven't bound it, it doesn't have to be nice. Well, that just solved my problem.
Do finger stretches? Yeah, for real. There we go. That's not going anywhere. Shit. We're good. We're all good. see here what should we do next I'm gonna curl these up real quick so let's let's set out an amount of wire that we're gonna want I guess one and a half centimeters.
Awesome. Whew. Okay. What's up, yellow banana? How's it going? So we just got done doing the one of the more difficult parts, which is to get all of this in that tiny little area. Excuse me, my goodness. All right, so our next move is going to be our next move is going to be making this. Uh, um, I think I'm pretty sure they call that God's Eye. I always forget. Um, but we're gonna make one of those little bits, and uh, um, then kind of top this off with a hook. I'm gonna try and do justice to a hook uh, somehow. We'll see how we figure that out. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's crazy. I knew this wire seemed thick. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I can't believe that. Whatever. Alright, so... Let's get it started, ha. Let's go. This way? Huh. It's gonna be complicated. I suppose it shouldn't be too complicated. Alright, I'm going to need a much longer wire than that. Okay. a solid hour and a half of actual work so far. Probably all I'm going to need. I think I've just reached the end where I pulled it off last time. They gave me eight. Or nine, I should say. Let's do a little more. have a tough time uh, getting it flat, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. Figure something out.
Oh no. <laughs> Doesn't look like I can do it. It's too long. But that's okay. It is alright. We'll just do that and then we'll come on the other side. like we're going to have plenty of wire to work with. Let me just make sure that's not going to be sharp or anything. So just like before, we're just going to start one way, start with some place, we're going to start right here. Oh. We're going to start, since, okay, so I'll show you why I'm starting there. Come on. So you see how there's those two there already. So I don't want there to be a gap there. So we're just gonna we're gonna start here and go and go the other way at this way. Alright. Let's get started. on the right track. Oh, oh. Don't get ahead of yourself. I always want to make sure that your shit is already in the right spot. You don't want to have to make adjustments later because they're going to be impossible. Okay. There we go. Do some stretches. I might in a minute. Let's get this one done real quick.
it's like, yes, phone, fine, yes, phone. Holy crap, it's 9.15. That means it's probably going to be time to go soon. Stupid frown! Shut up! Shut up! Yeah, yeah. Just unplug it for now. I'm gonna need a break after this anyway. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. I think I've got a pattern down here. That might be enough, actually. Let's just make sure that it's nice and even. Four, eight. Four, eight, nine, huh? So let's take a look. Four, eight. won't hurt so let's just do it
eight, nine. Okay. Now we can just close that off. All right. Okay, all right, so to lock that in, let's just go ahead and take the things down. Coming along, it's coming along. Ah. Alright, there's a bit much on the top, but I think we'll be fine. Yeah, it was a bit much, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, a bit much. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, for, uh, for sure, Kumanina.
Alright. One second. Damn. Just tangled up like oh, fucking crazy. Okay. Uh, these are actually freshwater pearls, uh, Kumanina.
There we go. I think that'll be just fine. Pretty sure I'll have enough. I will have to go out and get another per uh, strand of pearls, though, which is just fine. Dang, that hurt. Ay, ay, ay. Ooh, that's a smart day. Lost Highway, how's that going? Oh, yeah, that sort of thing happens all the time. In fact, there's more injuries in that very spot. <laughs> Yeah, it's already stopped bleeding. Yeah. I hope it's not in there. Fuck. That would suck. Nope, there it is. Man, how deep did that go? That shit hurts. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, break time is just is is right, yeah. I'm thinking we could do some uh, pearls up here as well. Um, trouble is, there isn't really enough room for them here, so maybe I'll do three. Let's see how all three looks. This is a uh, like a lantern style, you know, something or other, and uh, so when it's done, it'll sit on a big version of this, not necessarily looking like this, but it'll essentially be a lantern stand and uh, uh, hang from there. So it's uh, it's going to be a, a cup to commemorate. Excuse me, yeah, memorialize, memorialize a uh, fallen loved one, and uh, or a deceased loved one or a past loved one, and 
uh, and be looking and look nice. Can't wait to make the hooks, cause they're gonna have to be fairly big. Like think of legs that go out, like out a bunch, and uh, and maybe a little leg in the back, and then a hook that comes up and is like there's the feet. The hook comes up, and that way it'll hang like that. Or maybe I'll manage to do something a bit taller. It might wind up just being taller, actually. Man, that's smart. did it again. Crap, I almost pulled it back out. There really just isn't enough room in there. Let's see if that'll work. Oh gosh. Try it anyway.
Whew, man. I think right after I'm done doing this little bit right here, we're going to take a second and I'll say goodbye and take a look at what we've made. And um, I think after this I'm going to play some video games and rest my hands. Um, this can be a little... This could be a little abusive on the on not only the fingertips, but apparently, um, or excuse me, and that uh, little stabbing kind of didn't didn't tickle too much. Kind of feels lopsided. I'm not going to try that. The next one will definitely have a smaller one of these. I suppose I could actually go back, go back some, but that may not, that may not be all that worth it. This still came out pretty. Oh, I'm glad. It's a good thing. <laughs> I think we... Excuse me. We may as well just do uh, four of these so that they all match. And that way uh, they'll be like a set kind of thing. Unless, uh, unless that's just... Um, yeah, I guess we can just worry about that later. So let's see, uh, three hours on the clock. I would say... Um, an, uh, a, a solid two hours of labor doing that. Uh, let's say there's five dollars for that crystal. Uh, let's say a dollar in pearls. And... Uh, Whatever that is times four will be uh, the approximate uh, um, labor and material price. You like the three different? Okay. Uh, would you like me to make one out of? Would you like me to make one out of obsidian, and that way you'll have a uh, um, amethyst, obsidian, whatever, uh, excuse me, yeah, whatever, and uh, quartz there. And that way it'll be more like that. Because I have obsidian here. Or an even bigger step up <laughs> and do a selenite one. Uh, 
uh, selenite doesn't look very good, so it's, it's all beat up. Another rose? Okie dokie. Alrighty. I think I'm going to get off here now. Oh. I think I'm going to get off here now. Excuse me. But uh, this is what we wound up with today. Come on. There we go. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you want it on stream or off stream? I'm still on. You ought to be on speaker? Okay, cool. I'm just gonna say goodbye to them real quick and, uh, and I'll be right there. Hang on. No, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna hang up or anything. Alright, you guys, have yourselves a good night. I'm gonna catch you on the next one, okay?